Alrighty guys, how's it going? JDM Airsoft here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a paint job video and today we will be painting over my TM Breacher shotgun. Uh, for those who are wondering, uh, for a couple months ago I did a uh, Instagram post of the camo I did right here in my rifle. A lot of you guys liked what I did. Uh, and are actually quite uh, interested in how I did it, so I am going to make a how-to video. So yeah, so starting off, you're going to need some stencil stuff. Uh, I'm going to use some flat paint camo. I got brown, OD green, and of course the original OG tan. On top of that, I got some painter's tape, and the reason why I'm using painter's tape is because I don't want to get paint inside of any of the internal parts. I also painted, uh, put some tape over the grip so I wouldn't get the grip, but everything in blue, I don't want to get tape or uh, paint on, but uh, yeah. But uh, no, this is going to be more of a uh, kind of an herbal tiger striped camo with a little bit of a back stuff. Really cool. And uh, yeah, pretty simple stuff. Now, of course, if you guys want to do exactly what I'm doing, uh, I am actually using some stencils from Freedom Stencil. Uh, link will be down in the description below. These guys are really cool. They make uh, the stencils needed to pull off crazy camos like this that I put it on my M4. Really nice. So yeah, let's see how it turns out. Alrighty, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to grab the gun of your choice and you're going to need to tape up parts. So I taped up the hop up where I set the shells in. I taped off the uh, hand grip because I didn't want to get that painted on and uh, the internals so I wouldn't mess up the uh, reloading due to paint buildup. Uh, the reason why we're using flat base paint is because it has no glossy finish and it's relatively easy to apply. A couple of sprays will do. You don't need to glob it up or do a couple of coats. One should do the job and since it's freezing outside and I can't take this outside other than my ghetto window because again, I have neighbors and I don't want the neighbors to think I'm a terrorist. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so starting off, we're gonna start off with some flat tan. We're gonna give it a nice good shake before we use it to mix up all the paint particles. And then we're gonna give it a nice even coat all around the uh, gun of your choice. I would recommend letting this sit for a good 30 minutes to make sure the paint is on there and to make sure that you haven't missed any spots. You can be generous with the paint, uh, you don't have to overdo it, but just make sure you get a nice even coat of tan starting off for this right here. Kind of just do what I'm doing and make sure you uh, do paint in a place with good air vent so you don't actually get yourself sick from breathing in the fumes of the paint. Okay, so once we basically get the uh, base paint down, we're gonna start off with our very first stencils. We're gonna do a spider web design. We're just gonna lay it down onto the uh, shotgun, and then we're going to spray our second base color, which will be the flat brown, to give it a blocky cut-up effect. Okay, so we're going to add our spider web design onto the base, and once we have it, uh, taken care of you want to make sure you push out any bubbles make sure that the stencil is sticking to the gun in all places and then we're gonna do a light drive-by of some brown to break up this tan color that I actually really do enjoy the look of it on the shotgun okay so this is an update so once that dries this is basically what we have so far like a really cool spiderweb pattern right on the gun and now we just have to do that to the rest so I'm going to jump cut and show you guys the final product okay so moving into the second phase so once you get your base coat done and once you add the texture then you want to do is you want to peel off one of the stickers and kind of peel it around the gun I kind of what I wanted to do is uh, had it spread out a little bit but more at an angle and then this will be the outline of our design that you see right there before we uh, cover it up with some OD green. But uh, yeah, you just want to make sure you just lay it on there, push on any bubbles, make it pretty flush. 
So once you get your stickers on, you're going to want to spread them out a little bit, press down to push out any air bubbles, and you should be good to go for the final step. You're going to grab your OD green, and then you're going to spray the entire gun with a nice even coat of the OD green. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once you are completed. Alrighty, so this just finally uh, dried. So now the only thing we have to do now is start peeling off the stickers and we can finally get a look at this bad boy. Uh, also, uh, this is what we've been trying to go for right here. This uh, nice uh, camo look that I've added to the M4, of course. And then of course I did the same thing for my indoor gun. A little bit of uh, throw off color. Just a nice little tiger stripe, so let's get started. So once you peel off your stickers, you're going to get that really cool design. Now, uh, you don't have to do this, but if you want to make your lines stand out a little bit more, I actually got a paint sharpie to paint around it because I didn't really have an airbrush kit to really get it done. So you can always get away with using a sharpie, kind of like a DIY. But this is basically the end result of what you get. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you do, and I will be posting more paint videos in the future. My name is Jadam. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.